What do you think we're going to hear tonight when we make uh, when we do this comparison? Um, I won't be here. No, but what do you think we're going to hear? Depends on how much we're drinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, depends on whether I bring my dog here, because to a dog, they can tell the difference. You'll see their ears perk a little bit when it's bone, because it has that sharp, beautiful tone to it. Whereas when it's new bone, micarta, or uh, what was the other one we talked about? Tusk. Tusk. Uh, the dog's ears kind of go down because what? the tone is a little bit dull uh, and subdued. No. <laughs> oh. All right. You're not going to publish that. All right. Let's see what your dog thinks. Oh. Podcast. So we got the tusk saddle that the Opios usually come with. Making a regular bone saddle. This is a new bone, synthetic, just regular cheap plastic. Um, it's a rosewood, ebony, and that's it. Cool. And we're going to be trying them on the the KTO 10 OPO tenor. Right on. It's going to be awesome. What's your predictions? Huh. I'm actually I'm pretty I'm just trying to stay open minded. Right. Okay. Um I'm curious though. As you make this journey through the instrument and all its options, you're gonna learn more and play more and listen more and read. And uh this particular bridge you may never even really cross. It's it's pretty far along in terms of uh see what you did there getting particular with your tone but for the tone dogs no oh, the tone oh, dog every little bit matters totally and um today All we're gonna 16%, be 16 percent joel <laughs> tusk saddle A-string. versus bone saddle open a string at 330 hertz fifth harmonic of a up to 100 percent increase in harmonic content oh that's ambiguous how do you measure Everyone's that interested. This is the uh, so this is the new bone XB. Are we gonna try a new bone XB? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh. I think we should get into the testing them already, huh? I think let the science yeah. speak for itself. Yeah. Let's do it. So what we got? Oh, we that's already a, got it first. That's Tusk. Okay, so we're trying the Koloha Opio tenor, and uh, this is from the last batch we just picked up of the Opio tenors. Yep. They're looking and sounding mighty beautiful. Look at the look at the neck on it. It's gorgeous. And we just got in a handful of new Koloha tenors. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll be putting them up on the website soon. Get them while they're hot. Is this Tusk? Yeah, it's Tusk. Is it weird? It's <laughs> been sitting here. Should I move? Oh, it's going right to be like a like a 10 20 second oh, okay if you guys can that, maintain um, eye contact that'd be best i'm gonna use your shot almost primarily so i want you to back <laughs> please if i can just pretty much that saddle is made of ice <laughs> from from the iceberg i have four tickets to a night at the theater on june 5th 2019 Ooh. at Manoa Valley Theater, and uh, it's a private showing of Tony and Tina's wedding. I don't think it's a real wedding. Yeah, it's it's a play. But um, the first person on the island to hit me up for these, they're yours. So, take it away, Clay. <laughs> See me on my phone. <laughs>
traditional way that somebody's going to hit a harp. Okay. Say three points. <laughs> I'd say two point seven. Four One, seconds. Two and Wait, a half. <laughs> when I, I snap my fingers. <laughs> okay. Try again. I think it's better on the on the twelve because like most. No, People no, no, but, do. but, um, I'm, I'm just going off the card right? where they, they're referencing oh, the yeah. harmonic at the fifth for the tusk being, this is, I mean, for our viewers, this is not easy to do. <laughs> yeah. It's actually pretty hard. Okay. So we got to figure out what the 16% is when we do the rest, <laughs> cause that's what they're claiming in, in, in reference to I mean, you, you, can hear, you can hear the sustain more in the 12th though. We should do fifth. Yeah. And it's still going. Yeah. And like, just do one clear one when I snap my fingers though. So that was Tusk, and now we're going to try what, Mr. Joel B? What's up? Let's go with New Bone. New Bone. New, new bone. bone. What about old, gonna... the old one? I got an old bone, too. What about that old bone? It sounds like what I'm going to get in like 20 old years. Old Bone? I think I already got <laughs> That sounds that. like a whiskey. Old Bone. Old Bone, old bone 12 year? Yeah. Here we go. 14. Should be drinking bone broth and taking a collagen supplement for your. It's great for uh, your skin joints. It's great for your skin, for your hair, great for, for your, your hair, nails, your, your teeth. Nail. It's great your for nail, your podcast, your joints. Vietnamese people don't tell you. Do you do you for real take that? Yeah, it's good. Uh, if you want to make like fake marshmallows too, you just whip up some uh, beef gelatin powder with some with some water. I made some coconut marshmallows, some sugarless coconut marshmallows. Oh, craft okay. tech. If anybody can hear it, I I, I I don't know about brightness. It almost sounds deeper. It sounds fuller. There's more sustain. Slightly more sustain. Sixteen percent more. It's like you went from <gasps> seven to eight on the volume. Can I get my koaloha with new bone, Joel? <laughs> Absolutely, you can. Just uh, send me a cashier's check, and I'll make it happen. <laughs> Blank. <laughs> I don't know if they do that. You gotta go see Jeff. Oh, or you can Oh just... that new bone, I almost have to turn down the preamps. Oh, oh my whoa, god. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Set it down. God damn. <laughs> hey, Corey, put your phone down. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore all of my customer emails. Oh please. <laughs> That's what he calls your customer emails. No. Come on, I'm the I'm the ukulele consultant. You you are, but he's on his fake accounts, leaving positive comments about his yeah, sample but... videos. <laughs> you never know. My phone could could have just been off, and I'm making like I'm on my phone. Wow. Like Madman. Yeah, I'm crazy. That's why I work here. First there was bone, then there was new bone. <laughs> Let's do it. I mean, Kalei's a good player, so you're gonna like every sound he makes. <laughs> uh, but okay, next, next. That's, no, yeah. let's keep going. That's not true. <laughs> the speech therapist used to have a uh, one of those like clickers that the coaches have. So I would practice my R's, and then every time I would see my A correctly, 
I get a click, okay, and then yeah. you would store up all your clicks, and at the end of the week, you got to spend it on okay, candy. So my speech was okay, rewarded by time. sugar, and then oh. when I graduated <laughs> from speech it, therapy, it, you got to pick one friend to bring, the other two okay. kids in speech therapy, <laughs> and your soda of choice. I picked Surge because it was fresh out on the market, you and that it. stuff got you jacked up. <laughs> so this is regular bone. This is that human bone. Corey regular. 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 Human Chinese bone. You never be know. The most in touch. The the thing with bone is it it varies. Right. So um, beyond sonic differences with um, bone that's more porous, it can also chip easier. So like you know when you're doing your nut slots and stuff like, there's different quality of bone, and if it's more porous, it's more likely for that edge on the A or on the G to chip off. It's you more brittle. More. I've had that happen. Right. So are, are, are you are you are you telling me that? bone is inconsistent yeah it, it is but there is yeah yeah but right, there, podcast there's podcast over I there's different my, qualities of it right so just like woods there's instrument grade and there's not instrument grade you know so um with that in mind we're gonna listen to the bone sound right now mm-hmm. new bone it's getting hot in here. new bone is like hot. about as equivalent to bone as e koa is equivalent to koa you know which is nothing it, it's it's I didn't not take my sats dude. so you know but you might like the sound of e koa I, I love it yeah it is. right so i mean you know right. with that yeah. in mind this is the real bone This is kind of fascinating now because I almost feel like that was warmer. It was. It totally. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah but, sure. And I, I feel like we're going to get even warmer as you get into the woods, the natural mm-hmm. materials that are less dense. But then it gets to a point to where, like, it, but, you're losing something in clarity. And I almost feel like if there's a spectrum, the I mean, first two we tried. Most luthiers like, right? Is because it's not, it gives you a richer tone. Yeah. But, but the concept like you were just saying before about e koa versus regular koa do you feel like is yeah there is as much of a difference of, mm. and as as so, far as yeah. something being natural versus yeah. something synthetic well wood does sound more natural s- still even than than uh any synthetic material but um the e koa material for the first time in an alternative materials kind of hit on that warmth of wood right, right? Yeah. And it's got such a loud and open tone that it's almost... And in a similar way, the new bone or the tusk might be the best for what you're trying to do because it, there's almost an enhancement like with eco to koa in terms of initial clarity and volume a little bit, you know? But um, but then there's... I don't know, there's people that meet, like me, that still gravitate back towards like the warm, natural sounds of... Yeah, like you know, traditionalists, wooden, right? Wooden yeah. bone. Purists. Yeah. Yeah, let me get that bone. I mean, it's it's a little bit hard. You know what, though? I bet those synthetic materials might actually sustain on harmonics a little bit longer, I, like I they say. Too. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's one thing I noticed with this was that the harmonic the on the harmonics, fifth right? was less. But once he started than, playing, I was like, oh, yeah. but I kind of like yeah, this. Yeah, once he started yeah, playing, better, but yeah. the, just the initial harmonic on the fifth, yeah. was, something was weird. It just only had the high part. It didn't have the body. It didn't. The other ones. Yeah. Without you guys saying that, that's the exact same thing I was thinking mm. the whole time. Like oh that's cool. <laughs> yeah, no, you know I mean, what's funny? You said exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Wait, wh- why? Why were we? Ta- why did you bring this up? I forgot. Like talking about bones, man. Boning in the boneyard. Oh, we got some of that fine plastic on here. It's uh, French. Plastique. What if it sounded awesome? Oh, plastic. <laughs> <laughs> the same. Uh, 
saying when. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> it's definitely brighter. Plastic? Yeah. Do you hear like this kind of like this weird overtone? Overtone, yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like between the G and the C string. It's like, moop, yeah, like bubbles. Yeah, it actually does. Like it's compressed or something. It doesn't sound as good. Extra charm while he was Whose phone is that? <laughs> is that your phone? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't mine. Should we just do it again? Or no. Oh, okay. I mean, it's gonna sound it's like plastic charm. both times. I think we're already experiencing the yeah. differences, like immediately. But it's still like the description is not really like defined. But like it's hard, you know, it's really hard to just put yeah. the exact. I know. Description be behind I mean, the, it's the not gonna experience. Be the same. Bone. Tusk. Wow. wow. That sounds like steel. Um, it sounds like glass. Yeah. New wow. bone. Ooh. Oh, right. I mean, that was the brighter. Tusk, right? That was that was tusk. Right in between. Wait, let's listen to Tusk and New Bone again. Tusk. New bone. Plastic. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't we don't tell our customers to always buy plastic youths. Wait, oh, man, it's sad. Plastic. Bone. Well, but one other equ part of the uh, equation, the what is the nut made out of on that kolo? Tusk. Tusk. Yeah. Do you think do you think the differences might be as noticeable if, if we change if both change. Well, right, at the same time minutes. actually um <laughs> I'm, I'm just asking you I, i've had experience having Stop making my, work my, for the nut it's a and contact the saddle. point man i've oh. had experience having the nut and the saddle of my instrument changed we, in what uh my custom kamaka mm -hmm. right now it's ebony right what, what right now it's started? ebony when, oh. it, at first off it was bleached bone for both the nut and the saddle and then we switched to non bleach bone, and that warmed it up a little bit. <laughs> and then now with the ebony, it's even warmer. <laughs> right, I I could see that. Yeah. Wait, so what? Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. Like you would think, just because it's made of the same material, like bone, then you have non bleach and bleach. No, I'm tripping that you actually had your nut and saddle material changed three times. Yeah, and you, it was you mainly... are a tone nut, aren't you? Well, I was hearing psycho. rumors, you know, so I might as well try it out. <laughs> I mean, if anybody deserves to be picky. But so you've been like kind of moving towards as warm as you can get in, in everything. Um, pretty much. Like my EQ settings on my <laughs> DI is like treble almost all the way down. Mm. Do you guys think that... Um, I, I mean, I love your sound, so that's interesting. Do, do you guys think that the changes would be just as apparent if we had different strings on or do you think oh, the changes strings, would yeah. be strings like, are, are i mean obvious like no, this stuff takes with some, density no I, i'm talking about the the equation of strings with bones you know and then oh. you and you start matching that's mm. like four carbon with yeah bone yeah. saddle yeah. Or, it's i mean the, oh, it's yeah. like you were saying on the podcast maybe last time but how you were saying like it's like this whole recipe of Long options recipe. Yeah, that yeah. make mm -hmm. the sound that you want so it's like maybe 
um, you go with bone, but you add some brightness with the fluorocarbon set you choose or mm-hmm. vice versa, you know, like you decide, well, you know, I mean, they're all adding in the, in the wood choices, right? And yeah. All that. I mean, the whole shebang. I mean, I mean, if you had another instrument, you might want different ones on that. Yeah. It's a reason they call them mad yeah. scientists. It's not... <laughs> you might be like, well, I like new bone for my saddle, but I like tusk for my nut. <laughs> I'm getting a little nuts. Huh? Yeah, I know. That's like going nuts. pretty deep. Like, nuts. <laughs> no, but I do know like... Bone sh- nuts. First, first, you should like find out what strings you like on your instrument and then... Because this is a little bit more complicated than strings. You can't just get, like, these saddles and nuts readily yeah, available. Yeah, you can watch our store. video on restringing and with about any instrument, be able to do it yourself. But this stuff, you got to be a little bit of a handyman or take it to a local... Joel. A local Joel. Local you got to sand stuff so much that your middle fingernail doesn't grow the same anymore. Or wow. Just, yeah, or that's impressive. destroyed it. It just grows flat in the middle. I should mention Billy, too. He's doing so much in the setup yeah. department. Have you um, experimented with different saddle materials? I have. I've experimented with everything from deer antler, wow. micarta, bone, synthetic, uh, carbon fiber. Interesting. And um, what's your thoughts on the different materials and what you like? Uh, I like traditional bone. It's very consistent. Uh, it's easy to work with and readily available. Billy works over here, and, and he uh, even builds guitars and all kinds. Yeah. Been doing it longer than me. So what material do we have here? This looks like, ro- is it rosewood? Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's yes, also it backwards, cool. Joel. <laughs> it's symmetrical. <laughs> no, it's not. What? No, no, no. He's trying to be the troll under the bridge. It already um, sounds more woody. I am the troll under the bridge. I control Sign all the tone. It's plastic. It's dyed plastic. It's brown plastic. I got a sharpie. It fooled you. Cut out all the highs. Yep. It's like you turn right? your tone down yep. to like a right? four, right? No, totally. You just everything above twenty five hundred. You just boop. high cut. All good. It's not carbon, but it's it's clear. Yeah, it's like not as much sustain. That's like the ukulele sound for me. Like the most traditional ukulele sound. Yeah. If you have the image, that's not the right term. But yeah, I mean, I think that's why Peter uses it. it you definitely lose something in the uh, fidelity on those high frequencies. But it's just also, it's like lo-fi. Also, the attack is I like lo-fi. Less, I do too. less, less attack. Yeah, it's significant. Yeah. I'm very lo-fi. Lo-fi low-tech. chill stick. You're not low-tech. I'm you pretty low-tech. Too much. As it's you're playing it, do you moderate tech? Do you feel any difference between all of these? Like, does it affect well, the way you kind of? Uh, yeah, play because it's warmer. I tend to play a little bit with more nails. To just kinda because try you're to bringing it, you're trying yeah. to bring it out more instead of yeah. bringing it. Out. But even though I'm adjusting like my technique. You can still hear a difference um, in sound and oh, tone, for sure. yeah. but it's, it's just something that I naturally do. If yeah, I hear it, like my hands just subconsciously. Move on their own. Yeah, like if your mind hears like brightness, you lay back a little bit on something, yeah. and there, it feels like you have more room to push it on that. Yeah, so it's kind of like if you're playing through a system that sounds brighter than what you're normally used to. to. Yeah, you lay, you lay back, but you yeah. turn yourself up. 
Mm. Or you just stick an ebony saddle. <laughs> yeah, you in can there. do that. <laughs> well, that's rosewood we just heard, right? Rosewood? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, rosewood. Let's hear the ebony. All right. So I was just listening the um some of the islanders, the MT four EQs, MT four RB EQs. This is the one with the pickups that we've had like hundreds of, but like oh. we were waiting to go through them, so. What are you doing, Eric? We'll go through these Islanders, some quality control. Make sure that they're all good to sell for our customers. Yeah, so we just um, listed some of these models with uh, pickups, MT4 EQ like he has now, MT4 RB EQ and whatnot. Concerts too. Well, we had these for a while and we um, weren't listing them because we we have to go through them because like quite a few you're rejecting even before the setup department, huh? Yeah, there are a bunch. So right now we're going through, make sure before they even get to set up or anything that they're going to be at least able to be set up and sent out playable. This is the return section. <laughs> but we have a bunch that were approved, that you've approved. And, um, yeah, everything that says and okay such a good there. deal on the website. Yeah. We've been slowly going through them and improving them for you guys, and we got them up on the website at like super <laughs> I don't know, but, uh, awesome. I mean, you know, more than 50% have mm -hmm. gotten rejected. So, I mean, that's even before it gets to the setup department. So, we are trying when it comes to these type of pickup systems and ukes that are affordable, it's challenging, you know, and um. We are on your side to try to get you something affordable that you can plug in if that's, you know, what you're yeah. looking for. But, yeah. The pickup sounds good, too. I mean, it has, they're pretty hot pickups. All right. What's the, what's the magical uh, settings on the onboard preamp? Just cut trouble in presence. <laughs> Just cut them all. Oh, that seems louder. Hey, Santa Claus. I don't know. Is it because it's more rounded? Like over here? It's the same. It's just, it should be the same as the plastic the same, right? and the... And the rosewood? Be. Yeah. I think it's just the angle that makes it look thicker. It's that ebony. I didn't like it. What? Why? Just didn't sound good. Be, be more specific with your. Somebody reasoning. doesn't want to make wood saddles. I'll, I'd rather make the rosewood one. Honestly, I liked. Yeah. It went really? for me. I, it goes. I liked it. I liked bone, ebony better. Yeah. Bone, and then it was a toss up between tusk and new bone. I thought. I thought. But that I liked the clarity. rosewood better than that. Actually. I almost. I almost want to describe it as like a spruce. You know how spruce has a clearer tone. I want to say that with the ebony versus versus like the rosewood or something most people play with their they don't use nails right so that's why they prefer something that's more of a on, on the brighter, brighter side mm -hmm. right yeah and it's, also it's like, true i mean like me like i'm not gonna grow up my nails because it's like if i can find some time to play at game, night it's, it's okay. not much it's like not worth you know no, nah, yeah, it's a it's, but, there's maintenance involved. Right, right, right. Yeah, you gotta shape it a certain way to get a certain and, tone. And do you do that? And it's like it's not consistent. Yeah, I, I do. You do, like, yeah. Um, you have like, a nail file before every gig. Like, you do I'm too, filing right? Filing everything down. Do you still do that, Zach? Or what is that? Your nails. I don't do the acrylic anymore just because it's mm. it's too much time and maintenance to actually upkeep. But and it costs something. The tone is something nice though on those. Daily, it is, right? but it it's it's, it's kind of heavy in the sense where even the gels too though they. 
which I was. They have a weird, like a warmer. Almost. Yeah, exactly, because it doesn't have the the crispiness as acrylic. Joe yeah. got it. He finally got it. No, no, no. I was say the next one we should do is we get bring someone in like a manicurist, and then we'll change out nails. <laughs> yeah. What nut material? That's gonna be the, the next. Oh, you want to talk about nut material? <laughs> like the engine will be how the body is built, like the body of the ukulele, because that's gonna be driving the most part. And mm -hmm. if you know that that as a foundation if it's good it'll always be fast it'll always be a good motor and then everything else like it's you true start i understand the cams, what you're saying you start yeah. changing the fuel yeah. injectors the type of fuel you use right it's like these little tuners not additions. saddles exactly. strings all strings. these factors like you need a well-built instrument we we're gonna have that um topic right why usa made instruments or anything of quality is made of you know or, or is more expensive right than anything that's a good question because someone today asked me why is this fluke so much money it's plastic back and it's plastic on the sides it only has a solid top i'm like cliffhanger made in america oh okay so for for you know today's what do thing you hear, what do you hear from the saddles you know what's your thoughts on that and then what do you want to hear next time um we are going to have to address what we said we would there with the um, difference in costs on different uh, instruments and like, brands. Yeah, like and why? why why it costs Yeah, so it's a, I think that's, that's a good a thing to get into. Why the hell? Why? What the hell? Why? We sell in the store, we sell things that are $40 instruments all the way up to four or 5000 So that is we got we, we got to right? explain that yeah. because yeah. There is there is a legit reason why people need to, to know. It's yeah. really hard wanna, to explain when the forty dollar one you can like you you know, eat cereal out of and go Tesla. swimming with, and the other one you know what? Just and totally we need to fragile. do that. We need to do that. I, I've been saying that forever, and I want to do that on the next one. I'm going to eat cereal out right. of what we'll call stopping it. Start of next third. It's yeah. the same thing. Like a Hyundai still drives. Uh, you know, it's not going to be. It's as got a sunroof. It's not going to be as fun as a Tesla, but it still drives. How do you know, Corey? I think I it drove. depends on the driver. <laughs> we drove both. Yeah. <laughs> Not if you're going straight. That's right. That does depend. Anyways. All right, guys. I just want to say something. What? We work really hard on these things. If you enjoy this podcast and there's other people you know you think would enjoy it, share it with them. Because we want to share it with more people. Subscribe. Leave a comment. And you can give a thumbs down if you hate me. But leave a thumbs up for all of them. All right. See you guys next week. Love you a long time. All right. Shoot. Yeah. Shoot. Thanks, guys. Did you see this one just came in? Oh, that's for the store. I got this what? for Haliva. You can list them if you want, but I know you were kind of hesitant to list heavier books. But it's the best songs ever. It's best songs ever. Yeah. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> One time, or put it in a wall. We, we used I wasn't to jump, scared of it. We used to jump off this cliff across from our house, like into snow drifts when it would snow a lot. And one time, Noah jumped off and he got stuck in the snow, and he was just stuck there. And so I went um, back to the house to get help, but I forgot. You got to like take off all of your heavy clothes. Like you say, then I forgot about them. I did forget <laughs> about them because my mom had like hot chocolate and everything was. And then, like half an hour later, I'm like, "Oh, Noah's out there. He's stuck. He was he dead was for like, seven minutes. He died for like, seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Has minor brain damage. And when he came back, there was a vision of a ukulele. <laughs> yeah, Ryu was born. I basically did Cola. that. Keep that I made a man out of him.